The U.S. secretly sent Ukraine long-range at ACMS missiles, which Ukraine has deployed to attack Russian targets. In the past few weeks prior to additional funding for Ukraine being approved by Congress, Reuters and AP reported this, citing an anonymous U.S. official. It is reported that ATACMS were included in the IS $300 million military aid package for Ukraine that U.S. President Joe Biden approved in March 2024. AP added separately that it was a significant number of ATACMS, but did not specify the precise quantity. The United States will continue to supply Ukraine with ATACMS tactical missiles, stated U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. We've already sent some missiles. We will send more now that we have additional authority and money," Jake Sullivan said. At the same time, he refused to name a specific number of missiles that Washington plans to supply to Ukraine. Ukraine first used these missiles on the morning of April 17 to strike a Russian airfield in occupied Crimea, some 165 kilometers away from the front line in Ukraine, the source said. It is also claimed that ATACMS were utilized in an attack on occupied Berdyansk, Zaporizhia Oblast. The Pentagon was initially reluctant to send ATACMS to Ukraine to the fears that this would negatively impact the combat readiness of U.S. forces, or that Ukraine would deploy the missiles to strike targets on Russian territory. The White House changed its mind after Russia deployed ballistic missiles supplied by North Korea to attack Ukrainian critical infrastructure facilities. Joe Biden ultimately made the final decision during a national security meeting in mid-February. According to Reuters, the attendees, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Charles Brown, were unanimously in favor of sending Ukraine at ACMS. Earlier this week, President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that his most recent phone call with Joe Biden resulted in agreements for the supply of long-range AT-ACMS missiles to Ukraine. American media had reported that AT-ACMS might be included in Ukraine's next package of U.S. military aid, likely worth you Sony billion dollar. Germany disrupts delivery of 400 MRAP armored vehicles to Ukraine. The German government has promised to provide up to 400 units of mine-resistant ambush-protected heavy-wheeled armored vehicles with enhanced mine protection to the Ukrainian military build reports. The contract for the supply of armored vehicles was signed by the Ukrainian authorities and the German defense company Flensburger Fazugbau GmbH with funding from the German budget totaling 315 million euros. The German Ministry of Defense says that all the armored vehicles are to be delivered this year. At the same time, the agency obtained a document from the German Ministry of Defense dated September last year, which states that M wraps for the armored forces of Ukraine should be delivered in batches of 20 from January to October 2024. However, deliveries have not yet begun. According to the German agency, the plan for 2024 was reduced first to 200 and then to 100 armoured vehicles and the start of deliveries was postponed from January to May to June. The reason is that Flensburger Fazugbau GmbH receives spare parts for MRAPs from the United States and only assembles them in Germany. The company faced export license restrictions from the United States to Germany and problems with mine protection certification. Since the first days of the Russian invasion, Germany has proved to be one of Ukraine's most reliable allies, providing it with comprehensive military, political and financial support. Berlin has sent Kiev an impressive arsenal of weapons, including various types of artillery pieces, leopard tanks of both old and new modifications, Iris T and Patriot air defense systems, ammunition, vehicles, drones and much more. Germany has recently added a new military aid package to this list, once again demonstrating its firm stance in supporting Ukraine in its fight against Russian aggression. There are rumors that the actual amount of military aid from Germany may be lower than officially declared. The German government stated that Ukraine had received 28 billion euros of military aid. However, the data shows a significantly lower amount 
according to BUILD. A part of the 6 billion euros, around 2.6 billion euros promised as military aid to Kyiv, will go to other countries and for the rearmament of the Bundeswehr. The amount of 3.4 billion euros may be reimbursed to Germany from EU funds. Taking this data into account, it turns out that the actual promised military aid to the Ukrainian armed forces is only 21.7 billion euros.